Welcome to our restore session, all focusing on lower back pain. 80% of people experience low back pain at one time or another. So this is obviously a common issue. So today we're gonna do some stretches that can help you to relieve some of that tension in your low back. And we're gonna end with an exercise that can actually help to strengthen the muscles that will support your low back and reduce that tension, okay? So starting out, we are just gonna get on all fours. And if you need to, you know, maybe you're using, I'm on a carpet that maybe you're using a yoga mat. Um, you might wanna double it over if this hurts your knees. So this is the cat cow. And for those of you that do yoga, you've done this before. This is my favorite go-to low back tension reliever. So I want my hands under my shoulders, my knees under my hips. I'm gonna inhale, I'm gonna drop my belly towards the ground, let my low back arch, my face comes up, and then as I exhale, I'm rounding my back like a cat and I'm tucking my chin into my chest. So we inhale, low back arches, and we exhale, and we round that back. So let's just do a few of these. And you just want to match the movement to the breath, okay? So whatever your breathing tempo is, that's how you're going to move. Good job. Let's just do a couple more. Feels so good, right? Good. Breathe. Let's just do one more. And exhale. Round the back. Good job. Now we'll just come to a comfortable seated position. Legs are straight out in front of us. So we're just gonna do a seated toe touch. Now, if, if you're not flexible enough to get to your toes, you just wanna grab a towel, wrap it around the bottom of your feet, and then that's gonna help pull you in. So I like to take three breaths to get into this. So big inhale, nice and tall to the spine. Exhale, I'm gonna sink forward about a third of the way. Then I'm gonna inhale again. On my exhale, I'm gonna sink about two thirds as far as I can go. And then on my last exhale, big inhale, and as far as I can get into this. And now we're just gonna keep breathing and holding the stretch. As I breathe on each exhale, I might be able to sink a little bit more. So every time you exhale, see if you can keep sinking. Good job. So this one works to relieve the low back pain because sometimes low back pain is triggered from tight hamstrings, tight glutes. So this one, if we can stretch out the hamstring and the glutes, sometimes it can relieve some of that low back tension. Let's just take a couple more breaths. You wanna hold this about 30 to 60 seconds. One more breath. Good job. And then we're just gonna gently come on up and we're gonna make our way to our back. Okay, so I'm just gonna lie on my back. My feet are flat on the ground. I'm just gonna bring one knee into the chest and just kind of give myself a little squeeze here. You can either hold onto the front of your knee or you can even grab behind the knee if you want, whatever feels good to you. And then let's do the other side. So this is just a real, gentle little stretch here. If you want to make it a little more intense, we're going to straighten the other leg. So let's set up from the beginning and I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to hug one knee in and then that other leg I can straighten. And again, you can leave it with the knee bent if this feels a little too much. Good. And then we'll bring that knee in and straighten the other leg. Or again, just leaving it bent, whatever, whatever feels right for you. But we really want to breathe. Good job. Nice. Okay. So let's bring those knees back here. Arms are out to the side. I'm going to leave my shoulder blades on the ground and I'm just going to gently let my knees fall down to one side. So 
my knees are low because this is going to be the least impact on the low back. So you don't want it to be too intense. If you want more of a stretch, you're just going to simply bring your knees up more. So it's more of a 90 degree angle at my hips. Stay within a range that doesn't hurt. You just want to feel a stretch. Okay, so breathing here. And if any of this feels like it's aggravating the low back, then obviously let's not do it. Let's just take a couple more breaths here. Try to breathe through your belly if you can. It's going to help the body to relax. Good. And then really important, if you have low back pain, you're just going to lift one leg towards the center first and then the other leg. Okay. We keep that pressure off the low back. So again, I'm just going to let the knees fall to one side. And if I'm just staying right here, that's perfect. Or if I want more intensity, I just bring my knees up a bit higher and breathing. Let's take a couple more breaths here. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to do a hip bridge supported with a foam roller. Now, if you do not have a foam roller, one knee at a time, remember to come out of that stretch. If you don't have a foam roller, you can always use a firm cushion, like maybe a couch cushion would be great. I have a foam roller here that I'm gonna use. So basically a hip bridge is when we bring our hips up, right? But what we wanna do is support it. It's just a nice little low back stretch. So I'm gonna lift my hips and I'm gonna put the foam roller under my hips. And then I'm just gonna relax here, breathing. And you wanna do this for about 30 to 60 seconds. and you could do this multiple times throughout the day. Again, if you don't have a foam roller, you want to use a firm cushion. And I think a couch cushion would be ideal for this. So we're just going to hold here and breathe. Feel that low back tension kind of melting away. And just re literally relaxing. Breathing. Good job. Let's just take one more breath here. Nice. So just be very gentle, just kind of lifting the hips up, pulling that foam roller out, and relaxing the hips down. Last thing we're going to do, this is an exercise that is designed to help to activate the glutes. When we can activate our glutes, it's gonna take some of the tension off the low back, okay? Because a lot of times what's happening is when your glutes should be kicking in, your low back is actually kicking in when it shouldn't be. So it's putting a lot of tension. So what we're gonna do is just lying flat on our back, knees are bent, feet are flat on the ground. I'm simply gonna pick up one foot, cross my ankle right over my thigh, okay? And then I'm just gonna lift my hips up and then I'm gonna lower without touching the ground, lift my hips up. So you really wanna feel this in your glute, okay? In your booty. So as I lift, I'm focusing on using my glute muscle to lift, all right? We don't want it to be overpowered by the hamstring or by the low back. If it feels like there's tension in your low back, then you're not focusing on using the the booty, the butt, okay, to lift and lower your hips. So let's just do one more time. And obviously, as always, if it hurts, don't do it, okay? Stop. So we just cross over, we're opening up, and then we're lifting. And the cool thing about this, is since we're activating the glute muscle, it's helping the hip flexor to relax. So we're actually stretching our hip flexor also. So this is a great, great, great corrective exercise. Just strengthen the proper muscles in your hips that will help alleviate low back tension. Just do a few more. And I do this one probably five or six times a day. Just take a little break, knock out 10 on each side. Good job. Now let's just sit here for a moment, do a couple of nice breaths, just kind of relax the body. You can put a hand on the chest, a hand on the stomach. Nice breaths. Let's inhale through the nose. 
and hold the breath and let it go. Nice job. Again, big inhale through the nose, holding your breath and letting it go. Great job. Try that throughout the week. Maybe just pick the one exercise out of all that or the one stretch that works for you. Incorporate it, okay? And I hope you feel amazing. I will see you soon.